The MET site has been designed and built by maths teachers from across the Midsummer Autumn Schools partnership. The idea of the site is to provide a one-stop shop for students looking for help with any concept they're currently learning about in their lessons, or that they need to revise for a test, or that they need to work on as an area for improvement following a test. The site has been designed around our Maths Expertise Tower, which is a ranked table of every concept in secondary mathematics taught to students from Year 7 to Year 11. The front page of the MET site shows the whole tower, and you can click on any statement in the tower to take you to a page dedicated to that skill. So clicking on this one here will take us to a page about percentage increase and decrease. Every page is laid out in the same way. There's a square tile showing an example question with a work solution and hints and tips to give you a quick reminder of how to do it. But if you need a more in-depth refresher, you can watch the video that we've made, which will take you through the topic from start to finish with full explanations and lots of examples in the format of exam questions. Most of the videos also include practice questions where you can pause the video and work out the answers for yourself to check your understanding. Further down the page, we have a list of the keywords associated with the topic, and then we have links to other pages on the site. Prior learning shows links to concepts that you need to understand before tackling this topic, and future learning shows what you can do once you have mastered the skill on this page. Below that, there are links to help and practice on this topic from elsewhere on the web. There's links to the My Maths tutorial and online homework. There are links to Corbett Maths videos and practice questions and solutions, and also links to Maths Genie packs of exam practice questions. So that's what a typical page looks like. How do you find what you're looking for? Well, the easiest way is to use the MET reference number for, that, for the skill. And we try to put these on everything we produce. So you'll find an MET reference number on your current knowledge organizer, say 32S for angles in triangles and quadrilaterals, or on a homework sheet on the back page where the WWW and EBI grid is. Or on a revision checklist next to the question. So say I want some help with 42a equations with brackets in. I can click on the magnifying glass in the top right and just put in 42a and then the top hit will be the page dedicated to that skill. As you can see the layout of this page uh, on equations with brackets in is exactly the same as it was for the percentages page so you can quickly find what you're looking for. If you don't know the MET reference number but you know for example that you're working on a topic on angles you can use the drop down menus at the top to find what you're looking for. Clicking on angles takes us to a list of all the angles pages and suppose we're looking for help with angles in parallel lines we can find that listed here click on 53s and again we find the tile and the video. So that's how you find your way around but probably the most common way that you'll use the website is from the MET report that's emailed to you from your maths teacher following each test. When you open an email with an MET report attached you can open the PDF and you'll find a breakdown of the skills that you've been working on in maths lessons. This is the same table as the tower on the front page of the website, but this has been shaded in according to your personal strengths and weaknesses. The green cells show what you've been getting right in tests, where the red cells show area for development. Clicking on any red cell, such as this one here, will take you directly to that page on the MET site to help you improve. So this one was for solving equations using one or two inverse operations. Do remember that the best way to improve, improve your mathematics is by doing some maths for yourself. So once you are up to speed from watching the video, you need to complete a My Maths task or complete some of the Corbett Maths or Maths Genie questions to really prove to yourself that you've mastered it. Okay, so that's a brief tour of the MET site. So you can use it for lots and lots of things. You can use it to 
revise for tests and exams. You can use it to follow up and improve on areas for development after each test. You could also use it to catch up on any work you may have missed from lessons in school. You can even use it to teach yourself new concepts and really get ahead of the game. The MNSP Maths team are really proud of what we've put together for you here and we hope that you find it easy to use and it helps you to make great progress in your mathematics.